Stacks goes for Superman. Welcome back to another episode. Today, my apologies, got a little science effects going on, you know. Allergy season is here. So, as y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but the rods are here, baby. Sorry if there's a little noise going on, you know. Can't help it. New place. People doing yard work. Beautiful day outside, but I'm inside. Technically, kind of outside, inside, in this porch. New porch in this porch making a video for y'all because I miss making videos. So let's, let's, let's just start off because uh, we haven't done this in three years. Last Rod and Rail Arsenal video is 2020. A lot has happened since then. The Russell, Russell, Arsenal has changed. So we're gonna start off with the reel. My favorite reel and the reason this is not on a rod right now is because this thing right here, if y'all can see that, it's gone through some repairs. I broke my rod tip. Not a good thing. Not not fun at all. It goes through lowest cost to highest cost. So let's see. Let's just start. Um let's set this up here. Alright, so first rod. It's rigged up with the wacky, wacky rig right now, just because it's been fishing spawning bass and now they're post-spawn, so not flipping the docks anymore really for spawning bass, but let's start off with this. So this is a Bucks Graphite Crappy Spinning Rod, SP65GN, six and a half foot, two piece rod with four and five pan test, moderate length. So here we go, got a little, and we got a loose, Laser spool, laser speed spool. I can't remember the size. 75, 5.0 to 1 gear ratio right there. So you can go and see that. Haven't done videos in a while. So there's the reel. Nice shiny blue reel. And here's the rod. We're just gonna walk this bad boy on down. Like so. And we just got some five, no, four pound Mr. Crappy line. Dude, this thing is, man, this thing is stout, but yet light. Just, just, mm, just, mm, just set a nice, I've caught a five pound bass on this thing. Crazy, good, but yet affordable rod. Next. <clears throat> Y'all know me. Y'all know it. It's the OG, the first bait casting rod that I have ever had in my life that I bought by myself. It's, the rod is great, but the reel needs some work. Y'all can see we got a lizard tied onto it. Man, this thing's been through hell and back with me. It has, I mean, gone through it all, if you will say. First bass I've ever caught, probably, on a bait caster on this rod. I mean, I've caught carp on this thing. I've caught bass on this thing. I've caught yee-sized bass. I've caught yay-sized bass. I mean, caught it all. This is a 6'5", no, 6'10", medium-heavy, loose carbon ZR speed stick with a loose speed spool, 6.4 gear ratio on here. Man, this thing has done it all. I don't even know how y'all can see me. But anyways, done it all. All right, next. Let's get the old chair up on here. I want to like lean it over for y'all. Y'all know it, y'all seen it in the last one. Still holding up great, man. Only thing I hate about this reel is the line it has so much memory in it and I've used this line through all my reels and it's fine except for this one this is the black max by abby garcia with a seven foot medium heavy rod um i mean it's just a good a very good affordable priced baitcaster if you were willing to find your first baitcaster one to start out with or one that you just don't want to spend too much money on but it's a good good rod i i I would say get this one. It's, it's called Very, Very Many Bass, and it's a great, man. Great rod, 
Uh, next one. So that's going to do it for my combos that I bought together. Now we're going into rods and reels that I've bought a rod, bought a reel, made the combo by myself. Intermission. All right, now we're into Jesus Christ. Man, I don't know what's up with this reel. Something with the bags, all right. All right, now getting into the real first real combo that I made by myself. Bought the reel, bought the rod, put it together. You know, you know the whole thing. So this is a lead lose. Speed Spool Laser AH American Hero version. Um, it's been good until I to put braid on it. And then I think the like the gears like stripped or something because like all the time I'm like losing drag for some reason. Like the drag slips and it's like all the way up and the drag still slips. So I don't I don't I don't know. So I don't really use this reel and rod that many times too much, but the rod is a Shimano SLX seven foot power pro rating medium heavy so that's a medium heavy rod slx right there with american hero and i got a jig on there it's a nice rod i got 35 pound test braid so that's that's a good flipping stick also a good top water stick i use a lot so okay now we're getting into the expensive ones actually no this rod, I think, goes for like $99. And then the reel was cheap, it was like $60. So it's so still a horrible reel, but the rod definitely is more expensive. So now we're going into the big guns. This is actually my newest rod. This is a Re Guggen Squad Reaction Rod Green Series. Thinks it goes for like $100. On the more pricier side, you know, but still pretty affordable, not too expensive. But when you turn it over, you will see the Shimano Carrado and HG, I think. Yeah, 200 HG. Uh, this is a great reel, an amazing reel. And it's like, it's a step down from the DC, but still a great reel. So, I mean, on the like unimaginable, like unbelievable good. That thing goes for 200. So this together is $300, you know, it's a little expensive. And then I think I just have 12 pound fluorocarbon because I'm throwing, you know, throwing, you know, um, the clutch, which is a lipless crankbait, you know. So this is a good travel hook throwing rod. It's uh, three, four reaction. Let's see, let's see, let's see this. The thing I love about the Guggen Squad rods is because it like shows you on the side what it's like strengths are. Also, it's a seven to mo medium moderate. So it's not too heavy, not too light, but kind of in between. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great rod. I haven't caught any fish with it though, but this reel I have, I definitely caught a ton of fish with a reel, but it was on a different rod. But yeah, I absolutely love this rod and reel setup. One of my favorites, use it all the time. And uh, can't wait to catch some fish on it. So now we're getting into a little iffy situation here. So what happened? This is my favorite rod. It's a heavy rod. My absolute favorite, throwing jigs, throwing big Texas rigs, throwing some top water, throwing some frogs, throwing some just heavy artillery up under docks, you know, some glide baits, some swim baits. Honestly, anything that's really heavy, you're gonna use this rod. The thing is, last time I was fishing, I got caught in a tree. Man, stepped back, heard a snap, and I was like, oh no, what was that? Damn, it rhymed. Anyways, uh, I looked down, and one of the eyelids was bent. I was like, oh, you know, that's doable. I'm like pissed it still happened, but at the same time, it'll, it'll be fine. So I'm sitting there just casting, you know, just, just fishing with it. And the next thing, the whole tip flips off onto the line, so it broke. You can tell it's a little dirty, but it's a 7.5 extra fast. 
heavy rock. So man, just, mm, 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 mm. just I mean, absolute cannon. Again, Green Series by Guggen Squad goes for like $100, still kind of affordable, but up in the higher range, you know. I mean, you're making that money. You spend it how you want to spend it. I'm not telling you how, how I'm spending it or not, but I'm just saying. But also, I mean, same with the other one. All the Green Series rods have a roller on the side so you can measure your fish and see how big it is. You don't need one of them. You don't need to be holding it with the foot, pulling it out, trying to hold the rope with your foot, trying to hold the bass and the rope at the same time, trying to see how big the fish is. No, you just lay your rod down. You don't have to carry out, I mean, you don't have to rope it falling out your pocket, nothing like that. You just have the rod with the ruler, you just lay it on the ground and bam. You can see how big your fish is. Hey, or how small your fish is. I'm not judging, I'm not, hey, Size don't matter. Just depends on what you're catching. But anyways, we yeah, it's a heavy rod. I love this rod. But we're gonna go off onto some modifications I have made. So this is where it broke. This is the eyelid that broke. I replaced the eyelid. Round that up. Went on live. No one joined it. It's okay. Replace that and then I took these two pieces, sanded them down, got a nail, a really skinny nail, filed it down, stuck it in between. That was the line. Stuck it in between, so I'm hoping, I mean, that looks good to me. I'm hoping it will still work. But anyways, that's like the modifications that we have made. So hopefully I haven't tested it out yet, but hopefully they still work because this is absolutely my favorite product. Okay, now, the real, that I use on that rod is the Shimano Corrado DC. This is my most expensive reel. It's the 150 HG. It is a 7.4 gear to ratio. And you can't hear it, but man, this thing zings. So zing, zing, just every time it gets zing. You kind of can hear it. Yeah, man, that, 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 this reel is amazing. You can cast a damn football field down to the lake. And I swear you can just zing that thing all over there. Yeah, this is a great reel. This reel actually goes for like 260, I think is when I got it. And I had a 35 pound test on it. So, you know, we, 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 we throw in heavy, heavy cover. We, we ripping it right out of them sticks. Allen butt brush pops and we ain't get hung. I yanked it off so hard I bent the hook and it didn't break off. That's how strong. This is like Power Pro, 35 pound, I think. But anyways, <clears throat> Master Rod and Room, Arsenal, that's pretty much I mean I have other rods, but those are like cheap rods, you don't want to see them. And y'all know the four foot mini rod that we always use. We have actually used the crappy rod more than the four foot rod just because it's so damn small and you can't cast when you're on the water. I mean, on, on a pond you can, but not on the water, you, you know, on the boat. Once again, we have ran into some technical difficulties. Every time I try to make a video for y'all, something happens. School's in session, pay attention right now, write this down. Take your notes, kids. Lose crappy rod, 5.0 gear ratio blues red rod first combo six four abu garcia six four blues american hero seven one Cor shimano corrado 200 hg 7.4 shimano corrado dc 150 hg is a seven four so these are the faster rods and reel. These are faster reels and rods, slower rods and reels over there. So you can see left to right. Hmm. I mean, technically, my right to left. So far, you're watching it left to right. That's the rod and reel arsenal. Hope you all enjoy this video. Let me 
know what you want to see me do next comment down below like if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already what are you doing you should be subscribed hit that bell to know whenever we post we are back we are officially back hopefully this sinus infection goes away but hey i figured why wait till you're probably asking sax why'd you wait till you had a sinus infection to finally make a video i haven't made a video in six months I don't know, I just felt like it, okay? So anyways, hope you did all of that stuff, like comment, subscribe, and another Stacks Post Fishing video, and I will see y'all in the next one, and...